cat in my lap who seems to think he should be my priority right now. All right, here at a glance, PowerPoint. I think we're good. Okay, whoops. Are you seeing a PowerPoint? Yes, but we see yes. October. Okay, hang on a moment. I'm going to put it into slideshow mode. There you are. So that work? Are you yep. seeing it in slideshow mode now, full screen? Yes, full screen. Awesome. Okay. So this is just a look at all of the important um, dates and milestones um, that uh, KVCC students should be aware of throughout the year. So we are going to start with August. Normally, we do not start with August. Uh, normally, we start with September, but this year, School starts on August 31st. So that's the only thing I have to say about uh, August this year is uh, classes start on the 31st. So make sure you're logging into your Brightspace um, on the 31st to check out your classes. All right, September has a few um, important dates. First of all, you can add and drop classes up through September 8th without any penalty um, to, as far as financial aid or your GPA goes. So that's a really great little feature that most colleges do not offer. Um, once classes start, you are stuck. Um, so this gives you that week to figure out, ooh, did I sign up for too many classes? Do I maybe need to drop one? Or um, I think I'd like to add another class. This is easier than I thought it was gonna be. So that gives you that flexibility. Um, so after September 8th, though, you own the class, which means that you're going to, someone's going to pay for it, whether it's you or financial aid, and someone's going to get it, and you're going to get a grade for it, um, whatever that grade may be. Um, we also offer classes that are flex start classes, which means they start, um, a three weeks into the semester. Um, so they're slightly condensed instead of being 15 weeks, they're 12 weeks. So it's the same courses you would take during the regular semester, just slightly condensed. And it, again, it gives you a little bit of time to decide um, if you want to add another class or if you couldn't get it, if you signed up for classes late and a class was full um, that you needed, maybe you could get into a flex start class. So those start on the 21st. And then just like regular uh, start classes, flex start classes have an ad drop period of uh, six business days. So um, the last day for ad drop for those classes is September 29th, Emma's birthday. All right, um, anything else that happens in September? Um, this is uh, generally the first month is when we like to meet with all of our trio advisees. Michelle, I'm somebody, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but somebody's going to be letting you know soon who your TRIO advisor is. Um, and then your TRIO advisor is going to be reaching out to you to schedule a time to meet on Teams if possible, um, on the phone, whatever is going to work so that we can make sure you're starting off on the right foot. So that's September and October. Um, so we have a short break, October 12th and 13th. Um, I believe that's the Indigenous Peoples Day break that used to be Columbus Day. Um, October 23rd, that's when midterm grades are posted. Many students don't realize that they have midterm grades. Um, <laughs> they are. You do get midterm grades and they are posted in the portal. So you can access them to see where you're at at midterm. Um, and then the last day, next to the last day, 30 days has September, April. Okay, the next to the last day of October is um, when the flex start midterm grades are posted. A big deal in October, that's when you can, that's when your FAFSA opens up so you can file your FAFSA. Do you have to do it in October? No, uh, but the earlier you get it done, the better. Just get it done, get it off your plate, and then you don't need to deal with it. You're all set for the following school year. Um, and then, again, registration is going to start. Um, I believe it starts at the very beginning of November, if I'm looking at my, yep, very beginning of November. So uh, we like to meet with our advisees prior to registration to make sure you know what you're registering for 
and you know how to do that and to make any changes that we might need to make if something's come up in your life. So that is October. In November, so November 2nd this year is when registration for spring classes is going to open. And that might seem a little crazy. It's November and we're talking about spring classes. Uh, remember that spring classes start in January. So you have uh, basically a few months to get yourself registered for your spring courses. And we always recommend that students register as soon as possible, preferably the day registration opens because classes do fill up and we want our students to get um, the choice, you know, the best classes that they can. Um, and then uh, if you decided to stay in a class after the ad drop, but now you're at the point in the semester where um, you're thinking, I can't pass this, it's too late. I'm, I'm past the point where I can turn this grade around. Sometimes withdrawal is the best option. And um, we encourage you to talk to us before you withdraw from a class because there are ramifications that can come with that that you may not be aware of. Um, but the last day to do that is November 13th. After November 13th, you are going to get whatever grade you get in that class. So if you're failing at that point and you're not able to pull yourself up from it, then, then you'll have an F um, on your, well, it's not a report card, on your transcript. Um, and then we have our Thanksgiving break. Um, at the end of November, and that generally goes, uh, it goes when, it starts on a Wednesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is our Thanksgiving break. Um, what else? I stuck this in November, but it won't necessarily be November. It could be earlier than that. And that's the T, the T's prep sessions that I offer. The college does offer T's prep sessions. So um, if you need to take the T's, please be watching your email from, uh, for emails from the Learning Commons, talking about the colleges, tease prep sessions. I offer different sessions. So um, just know that you can do both if you want to. Um, so just be aware of that. And I will also be sending out information when I know when I'll be offering them. Okay. December. So the last day of the fall semester is December 12th. So that's when your classes for the coming semester will end. And then um, instructors have to have final grades posted by December 16th. So that's when you'll know how you did. Um, December 14th through, the, through January 8th is our winter break. It's a good long break, so um, enjoy it. Um, there are no classes during that time. Um, let's see. What else? Well, TRIO has always had an amazing end of semester slash holiday party, um, but don't know what that's going to look like this year. I'm sure we will do something, even if it's virtual, because we like the party. So um, be on the lookout for that. And then um, a less happy note, if you had a bad semester, that December is when you will receive um, a warning, um, whether it's um, an academic warning or a financial aid warning. That's when those warnings are sent out. So throughout December and the beginning of January, we are helping students um, to deal with those warnings, to do whatever needs to be done. Sometimes it's an appeal letter. Sometimes um, it's making an academic plan that financial aid likes. Um, but that's part of what we do through that month is help students with those issues. All right, and then January. So the spring semester begins January 11th. I've always thought spring semester is kind of a misnomer for a class that starts in the coldest month, um, but it does end in the spring. Um, and the last day of the ad drop period for that semester is January 19th. Something really awesome that TRIO offers in the spring is a three credit SOCH 108. Um, that designation might change this year, it might not, but it's an intro to leadership class. We'll be in touch with all of our TRIO students um, about that class, but it is an excellent course. And um, Lisa, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it is free for TRIO okay, students to take this class. So three free credits, um, and it can count as either a general elective or it can count as a social science elective. 
And I think we're working on something else, but I don't think it's written in stone yet. So I'm not going to say it, but this is a course that, um, you do not have to think of yourself as a leader to take this class. Um, we're, that's what it's for. It's to help you to sort of build up your skills and build on what you already have uh, to enhance your ability to um, be a leader in, in your community, in, in the school, in, in your life. Um, and most students who take this say, this is the best class I ever took. So as you can imagine, if, if you've been really enjoying this week and spending time with us, yeah, it's like that. All right, February. So in February, that's when, so we have flex start classes in the spring as well. So those will begin on February 1st. Again, three days, I'm um, sorry, three weeks after the regular beginning of the semester. And then the end of the ad drop period for those classes is February 9th. All right, March has an update. First of all, just like in the fall, there are midterm grades in the spring semester. Those come out on March 5th. And then we have our beautiful spring break from March 8th to March 13th. Um, let's see, so no classes during that time. The flat start midterm grades get posted on March 19th. And then before you know it, you're registering for your summer and fall classes on March 22nd. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you register for both at the same time. So if you're planning on taking summer classes and coming back in the fall to take more classes, you would register for both then, okay? And even if you're not registering for summer classes, that's still when you're gonna register for your fall classes. And then just like in the fall, we want to meet with you prior to registration to make sure you're on track and taking what you need to take. So you'd be meeting with your TRIO advisor at sometime during March as well. All right, in April. So just like in the fall, you have a final day that you can withdraw from your classes. That's April 2nd. So again, after that, you own whatever grade that you have at that point in the class. Um, and then April 30th, this is so important. Michelle's gonna talk to you more about financial aid in a little bit, but April 30th is the last day that you can file your FAFSA so that you get the maximum amount of financial aid that you can. After that date, you lose um, the main state portion of it. So you're gonna be getting notifications from this college and from us saying, hey, have you filed your FAFSA yet? Do it now, okay? And at this point, you are really in the home stretch, okay? Because we are so close to May. And sorry about my cat, he's yelling at me in the background. Um, May 1st is the last day of classes for the spring semester, and final grades are posted on May 6th. They will not stop. Um, so then we go right into the summer sessions. Um, there are three different summer sessions. I think there are four, actually, that I'm, but one, two, and three begin on May 10th. May 15th is graduation day. Of course, we don't know what that's going to look like yet. We're hoping for a live graduation. We want that as much as you do. Um, but however it happens, it will be on May 15th next year. And then uh, you have the end of the ad drop period for your summer sessions one, two, and three. Again, we like to party and we have a wicked awesome end of year celebration. This year we had to do it virtually. I think it was still a really good celebration. Again, I think we prefer to do it in person because we love seeing you all and you know, we're all big huggers and stuff like that. But however the semester goes, there will be a great end of year celebration. All right, in June, you can see that in June 4th, so summer session one is very short. It goes from May 1st, I'm sorry, May, um, shoot, now I'd have to go back to that one. <laughs> I don't remember what I said at the beginning. May 10th, May 10th. So it goes from May 10th to June 4th. Um, so it's a very short summer session. So it's a jam packed. The, these courses are highly condensed. So that session ends on June 4th. And then look, here comes summer session four. So this is a summer session that begins later in the summer. Um, this is really helpful for students who are starting 
um, fresh from high school and they didn't graduate and, you know, early enough to start the earlier ones. And then we have our end of the ad drop period for summer session four on June 29th. And the only thing we need to know about happening in July is that summer session two ends in July, on July 2nd. So that's, a, whoops, that's a slightly longer, sorry about that, slightly longer session than session one. I think that's about eight week. That's about an eight week session. And then next August, um, the 14th is when the other two summer sessions end, sessions three and four. And we have our trio summer push all over again for new students. And I'm hoping that next year, we all hope that next year, some of you will be on our student panels telling the new students what worked for you and, and how awesome trio is and all of that great stuff. So there is our uh, year in a glance. Does anyone have any questions about this before I shut it off? And someone's gonna have to tell me if a hand gets raised. All right, I'm gonna assume no questions. So I need to escape out of this and stop sharing. Here we go. Uh, thank you. Awesome job, Landy.